And good day. Today we're having a look at this box. Well, what comes inside it, which is a Wubin C2 flashlight. Not just any flashlight, a very special one. It comes with a power bank. Well, when I say comes with, it is a power bank and flashlight combination. This box already had a plastic uh, outer cover, which I've already broken and got rid of. And it was inside a shipping package as well. Uh, so it's well and truly protected and as you can see here we've got quite a bit of bubble wrap around the little box here which of course is the flashlight when I finally get to it. We'll get there soon. There you go. So heaps and heaps and heaps of wrapping to protect it. And here it is in all its glory. This is what all the excitement's about. So it's the Wuben C2, uh, and as you can see on the bottom, it's got 2,000 lumens. So pretty impressive. It's got a five-year warranty on it as well, and it's got quite a few other little bits and pieces. So let's open the box, and we'll see what's in here and why I am so excited about it. I'll just break the two seals on the side, and pop that open, and... Um, and we got, what's that? That's a uh, professional flashlight, it says there. And it's accessories, so there you go. Wasn't expecting that, a little box on top. And let's open it up and see what's in here. We've got, uh, looks like a couple of O-rings. We've got, uh, what's that, a USB Type-C and USB normal. And we've got a lanyard, so these are always very handy things to have. Oh, we've got a little <laughs> pull figure there, so it's rather nice. Pull that out. We've got instructions down here as well, so we'll have a look at them shortly. How do we get into this? Uh, okay, that pulls up. That opens up. And this is what all the excitement's about. Yeah, I'm really, really looking forward to having a good look at this. And we've got a little thing around the bottom that says, uh, please remove the battery uh, ins what was it? insulation sheet before using it. Now I'm reading that upside down, so if it sounds like I'm uh, having difficulty reading it, I am upside down. Um, yeah, so that's the actual torch. And we've got here the little uh, bit, the little rubber protector. That's the uh, charger on one side, and the other side is. The power bank, I mean, wow, you know, you can charge your mobile phone with this thing, so that is a handy little contraption to have if you're out in the middle of nowhere. Good good safety thing. Now, we're going to obviously turn it on in a second. We've got to take out the uh, Duba Wacky here, so I'm not certain what we're expecting to do. I haven't uh, played with it yet, so I don't know what goes. Oh, okay, that rotates. Does that? No, that's that. Let's have a... Okay, that goes that way. I'm not certain how to get this thing open yet. As the old saying goes, if in doubt, read the instructions. I'm going to do that right now. I'll get back to you in a few minutes once I've done that. Well, I had the right idea initially. <laughs> you just unscrew it. I wasn't certain, so there you go. So <laughs> simple. <laughs> well, there's a bit of plastic on the end. So off that comes. And actually, it's a bit of type of battery it is. It's a... 4,800 Wubin, so it's a pro um, proprietary battery. So 4,800 milliamps, 17.76 watts, and it's a 21,700 3.7 battery. So you can actually get other ones that'll fit uh, the actual torch, if you like, as well. So yeah, let's pop that in and uh, screw this thing back on. And... I'm not expecting much at the moment. I'm probably, probably flat, but you never know. It might have a bit of a charge. We'll uh, press the button on it and see what happens. Oh, yeah, a bit of a charge. And as always, here are the instructions for you to have a look at. There's three pages of them, and hopefully they're clear enough that you can pause at any time and have a bit of a read if there's anything of interest in there for you. Well, I've finished... Uh, charging the battery and as you can see we've got a little light here that's flashing blue 
well that'll indicate you've got anywhere between 100 to 40 percent of the actual charge in the battery so once the uh, battery goes below 40 it turns red so it's handy to know uh, the idea of having the flash it's simple if you drop the torch in the tent at night or outside anywhere you can easily find it because that will illuminate around the area great little uh, feature if you don't want it on you click it three times rapidly and it automatically turns off and if you want to turn it back on again three times again rapidly and it's back on now if you don't want to turn the um, torch on accidentally what you do is four clicks in a row rapidly it'll flash three times and that's it it will not come back on so if I hold the button down nothing take it off hold it down again nothing to get it back on again you have to click it four times rapidly in a row and we're back to normal and great little feature that is isn't it I like that and as you can see I've got the Wuben C2 torch in my hand and the interesting thing with it uh, the battery which is this is the 21700 it's uh, got another one in there I'll just turn it off for a second it's the first torch I've ever come across that will take multiple sized batteries so the one that's in here look at that that's just simply an 18650 look at the difference in the battery size they both work it's quite amazing. The only thing with your 18650s, make certain you don't get the ones that don't have um, the bump on the top. That's a solder type. That will not work. And of course, this is a, uh, a 21700. Of course, that's the Wuben one. And there's another 21700 sitting here. This one's got a little charger. Now, this one's an inbuilt charger. And this also works. Now, one very handy thing with this flashlight. You got a mobile phone? Guess what? You're, it's gone flat. You're in the middle of nowhere. What do you do? Well, that's where this comes in handy. You grab your cable, your charging cable, plug it in. It's a USB-A type. In she goes. Pop it into your little phone. And surprise, surprise, it's charging. So you can actually charge your mobile phone in the middle of nowhere directly from this torch. Now that is a really handy thing to have if you're out hiking. Um, it's just for that alone, it's worth putting in your pocket and carrying with you. It's a great little camping device. Now there's something else I'd like to talk about. Uh, this little torch. Whoops. <laughs> that wasn't that. It's something. Oh, damn. I've just dropped it. What a pity. Oh. Hard getting out of this camp chair. Put that back up there. Ugh, plunk myself around. Ah, thump it around a bit more. As you can see, I'm being a little bit rough with it. There's a reason for that. The, uh, the actual torch, it's shockproof up to 1.5 metres. So it still works. So it doesn't matter if it falls out of your pocket onto the ground. Another handy thing to have. I mean, so far it's proving to be pretty good oh and by the way it's waterproof up to 1.5 meters uh, it's ip68 rating uh, so we might drop it in a bit of water later and just see how good it is this is the all important will it work under water and as you can see the answer is yes now something else that's uh, impressive with it light on light off light on light off the torch itself has an inbuilt memory so it remembers the last setting you had so if i turn that on hold the button down we'll choose the lightest one there that's the lowest light setting so if i press it it's off tap it back on again we're back on the lowest setting if i turn it on and we'll go to say the third uh, setting there again if we turn it off turn it back on again we're back on exactly the same setting so it remembers the last um, uh, brightness setting that you had and that's also very handy I, I hate a torch where you've got to turn it on and you've got to go through four or five clicks to get it to the setting that you um, you want it on the torch itself has got quite a few settings in it so we'll go through a few turn it on first click which is the low setting hold the button down I'll, I'll aim it down on the table that's probably the easiest way and as you hold it down two three four now if you double click on four 
that's your turbo. So it's got five different settings. If we double click again, we go to strobe. Double click again, we go to SOS. So it actually, yeah, it's spelling SOS. So, you know, save our souls. So it's pretty impressive. That's all inbuilt into the actual torch itself. So if you're out in about again, if you're out camping or you get lost in the middle of nowhere, you can set the SOS, aim it up, hopefully at an aeroplane and they'll spot it and you'll get saved. So your soul will be saved. The torch comes with a five-year warranty. Um, obviously, you have to prove that you own it. So you've got to fill out your warranty card when you purchase it. And if you have any problems with it so within the first five years, you just send it back and they will repair it free of charge for you. So that's pretty good. After five years, you can send it back if there's a problem and they will repair it, but it's going to cost you a bit of money. But how many places give you a five-year warranty anyway? So that's, again, something which is a definite plus on this torch. If you're into videography or you like to take photos, which I do, uh, it's nice to know what Kelvin rating the torch runs at. This one runs at 6,500 and something very handy to know. You probably noticed it's got a very large clip on the um, on the torch. This is great. It means you can put it onto your uh, backpack. You can clip it over the webbing or over the belt on your pants. It slips into your pocket quite easily as well and lock that into the into the uh, pant pocket itself, so you don't lose it. That's um, that's good. A very very handy thing. That most of the torches I've reviewed in the past have a fairly small clip, so. They make it fairly limited in what you can do, but this one's more designed for camping. And so far, I really can't fault it for camping. It's it's really good. And I've started the recording. And there's the flashlight itself. You should be able to see it, hopefully. Holding it down again, second three, four, and there you go. Now that is very, very, very bright. Uh, there's a patch of uh, flowers down there and you can see there's quite a bright spot so I'll drop the uh, light back a bit. And we've got the turbo on at the moment, this is maximum brightness. Give you an idea of what it's like. That central spot is incredible. It's so bright. Now, for my final thoughts on the Wuben uh, C2 flashlight power bank combination, it's actually ideal for camping. It's well thought out. It um, lasts a long time. It's robust. And it can take the occasional knock or drop on the ground. So, yeah, it gets a thumbs up from me. It's well worth taking a look at if you're in the market to purchase a brand new flashlight, which is portable. And don't forget, it takes more than one type of battery, and that is very, very handy. There's a link in the description below if you'd like to purchase this uh, flashlight. And if you haven't subscribed, you know, please consider. I'd appreciate it. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Either way, doesn't matter. It's whatever you fancy doing. If you'd like to leave me a comment, I'd appreciate that as well. And hopefully I'll get to see you on the very next video. All the best till then. Take care. Bye.